And whereas the Hayes community and state of Kansas are very fortunate to have had a person share so, so much of himself as well as his good fortune. And whereas Mr. Smith continues to be a major contributor to projects important to Ellis County and Kansas through the Bob and Pat Schmidt Foundation. Now, therefore, I show you, so Mayor of Hayes, Kansas, do here, hereby proclaim, proclaim August 12th, 2017, as Robert E. Bob Schmidt Day in the city of Hayes in appreciation of his invaluable service and generosity to this community. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and affixed the seal of the city of Hayes this 10th day of August, 2017. Commissioners, would you guys like to uh, say anything? Um, uh, there's been many things said about Bob over the last couple of days and all of his life, really, but I knew Bob since 1963. Um, we were good friends, and more recently, in the last 10 years, we were great friends. He was a mentor to me. He always encouraged me to do the right thing and figure out what the right thing was. But he said more than just giving back, it was getting other people to encourage to get other people to join in. And that was the true leadership that Bob had, in my opinion. He, he could bring people to the fold, if you will. He collaborated. Um, I will miss him greatly. He was a great, great man. I never had the pleasure of meeting him, but uh, I do know who he was and, and know that Hayes lost a great, great man and uh, contributor to the city. And, I want to send my condolences and prayers to his family. Three things about Bob that I will never forget. And the one that he was probably the hardest working person in this community. And he took a radio station that was losing money and he turned it into a powerhouse. He took a television station that didn't exist, made a television station and built a television empire in Kansas. Amazing workaholic. Second, amazing sense of humor. And the funniest, quickest wit uh, just incredible. And the third, this sense of when you're self-made and when you have an opportunity like that that he created, he also realized, and you can see him on YouTube, on his post as well, talking about this, he believed that it was his responsibility to give back because he had done so well and had done something you know, in the realm of radio TV. It was a public license that he was obligated to give that money back. And with Bob and Pat, that's a generation of people that are gone. There's just two more people left. But who are going to be the next people that step up? And that's what I'm concerned about, because this was a whole generation of people that are gone. And he was exemplary, and he always brought someone to the table. That's why it's Beach Schmidt, Bickle Schmidt, hmm. Abel Schmidt. It's just that he brought them all to the table. Yeah, yeah. Dryling Schmidt. Yeah. We all benefit I personally benefit because I work at the Drawling Schmidt Cancer Institute which is directly there because of the contributions of Bob and Pat Schmidt and um, yeah so everybody in the community at some point um, is gonna is benefited from the Schmidt family so this is a great loss and I agree with Commissioner Schwaller these families have done so much for Hayes um, you, it's such a tragedy to, to to lose them because you wonder what the where the, where the what's going to happen with the next generation if we're going to have the same thing. Yeah, I would agree. You know, that's one of the first things when I moved to Hayes in the early '90s. You know, you just you see his name all over the place, and you know, for me, it was like, you know, who is this guy? And, you know, and I'd always heard about it, and uh, you know, a few years before I uh, became city commissioner, I'd been at different events, and uh, he's the type of guy you can just kind of sit in awe and listen to him, and. You know, he never treated you like you were below him. You were just, you were one of the residents of Hayes. And uh, it just, it gives me chills just to talk about the guy because, you know, the, the word idolize uh, gets thrown around sometimes too much to ridiculous people. But this guy, he's truly a guy you can idolize. And you say, you know, who's going to step up next? Well, for us, uh, you know, 40-something pe pe people, I believe it's, uh, it's our time. And, uh, you know, we need to look at what he did and, uh, you know, run with the ball. It's our time to keep going.